So first off, I want to thank both of you for joining me today for this discussion. Really appreciate it. I've actually been interested in talking to the guys at Finema for a while. I have been in, in, uh, in touch with uh, Catherine. Um, and just to introduce both of you very briefly, but I'm going to let each of you talk a little bit more, tell, tell a little bit more about your background. Uh, we're joined by AJ, who is the founder and CEO of Finema. And we're also uh, joined by Nata Wood, who is the innovation manager. Um, so I'm gonna start off by just asking each of you if you can just introduce yourselves, tell us a little bit more about how you came to decentralized identity and we'll just take it from there. So we'll go ahead and start with AJ. Okay, uh, my name is, uh, my full name is Pakal Lisekun, but you can call me AJ, like uh, it's easier for you. Uh, okay, um, I'm in the IT industry for about decades, uh, I think more than, more than 15 years. And then uh, five, six years ago, um, I, I, I came up with an idea of the problem about uh, authentication and digital identity. And, and then I and co-founder, my CTO, uh, we, we are considering about a, what is the next generation of the digital identity and we, we found the concept of the self-sovereign identity at that time, 2016, 2017, and the, the year we we setting up the company, 2017. And, and then we love the idea of the self-sovereign identity a lot. And then, and then we, we, we make a decision to start to build a product and doing the platform about uh, decentralized identity uh, from that time, setting up the company uh, and, and then jump into like a, to join to be like a DIF member. I think it is uh, the year 2018. And then we, we contribute a lot in DIF, contribute a lot in W3C about the standard of the VC, their standard of, of the DID. And then now we we are uh, know a lot about the uh, digital identity area, and then we 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 have a some platform for government, some platform for enterprise for now. Yeah, awesome. that's it. Thank you so much uh, for sharing. And not to what, can you please take a moment to introduce yourself to our audience? Sure. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Natwood Gongsuan. So currently, I'm an innovation manager at Cinema. So I started off as uh, a physics student, actually. So I, I went to a graduate school in uh, physics, but then I, I was a bit disappointed uh, with my work. I felt that uh, the work that I did uh, during my, my graduate school year wasn't impactful for uh, the society. And, and that's the result that I, I decided to left physics and academics. And then uh, later on, uh, uh, Mr. AJ invited me to Finima, and then I also went to uh, a seminar organized by uh, Kalia Young. So she is uh, one of the prominent members in uh, DIF. Uh, she spoke to the Thai government official in Thailand around uh, 2019. And then I, I realized that, oh, okay, uh, decentralized identity and the self sovereign identity can uh, be very important for uh, the privacy, confidentiality, and uh, like uh, human life in, in the future, as uh, the way the internet right now is broken. And uh, decent identity uh, can be a way uh, to move our society in, in, in a better direction. And uh, then uh, I got hooked since then. And uh, currently uh, I'm, I'm working uh, in like identity and like just currently using uh, like Decentralized identifier, verifiable credentials uh, in my work, and and try try to make uh, the society a better place. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing, and it's very interesting to hear your story and how you intersected uh, the diff community in Thailand. Always love hearing those stories. Um, now, something I'm interested in uh, hearing more about, and this I got this from your website, and I was looking at. The fact that you guys did a project with it was uh, the Ministry of Digital Economy and Society. That's what I saw. It was a government project, and I was interested in um, hearing more about that and how Finema intersected that work. Okay, uh, not what can you share about the ETDA SSI project? Right. So we have been 
uh, driving the development of standard and uh, the ecosystem in Thailand uh, using standard that is originated from a decentralized identifier uh, foundation. For example, uh, we helped the government agency in Thailand called uh, Electronic Transaction Development Agency, or uh, uh, for short EDA, uh, to write and then public, uh, publish verifiable credential standards based on W3C verifiable credentials. That, uh, that's one thing. Uh, we also uh, drive, we also help writing uh, the standard on uh, digital wallet based on uh, European identity, digital identity wallet standard. Mm -hmm. That's another one as well. And currently we also uh, drive the development of uh, Thailand blockchain services infrastructure, which is uh, inspired by Europe, uh, European blockchain services infrastructures. That's very interesting. And you had another project, it was a university project as well in 2020, I think it was mentioned. That was uh, the pilot project that we had with a university in northeast of Thailand called Kongen University, where we developed uh, a prototype for a uh, digital transcript for university students. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I, think I, I came across I think, I think, I think that, that project is uh, from 2019. And, and I think, yeah, yes, okay. but it's it's only a pilot project to show the how how to keep the credential, how to issue the credential to the uh, Kongen University in the northeast. Okay, now I'm also curious to hear more about your user adoption journey. So, so what were some of the challenges that you confronted when you were getting your platform adopted by the government? Uh, were there challenges and in interoperability that you can that you confronted that you overcame? I would be interested. In, I would be interested to hear more about that. Okay, uh, I, I can share to you about uh, some of the customer like uh, uh, the the digital economy ministry of digital economy. Uh, one of one the pi that's a pi the big pilot project is called like a. ETDA SSI project. They 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 try to uh we we help them build the whole infrastructure of SSI to them, and they try to come up with a use case on like a medical uh, certificate and education certificate for them, and then we have uh, another customer like a uh, uh, Ministry of Commerce to help them uh, issuing uh, the digital certificate of the company, company registration. Yeah, okay. and, 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 we, and focus on the public company, the listed company in, 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 in Thailand, in Solid Chain Thailand. That's platform only for public company. And the other one is uh, from, uh, that's what, uh, NBTC, Kosa Tashaw, what what we call in 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 English? Yeah. National Broadcasting and Telecommunication Commission. Okay, that's that's another client. Uh, that's another client that we help them to uh, do a platform to registering and issuing the digital certificate for the licensing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's that's an example for 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 the government department mm -hmm. use case. Probably, probably to add uh, to the answer, I think the one of the biggest challenge uh, that we encounter uh, working with the government of Thailand is, uh, is that it's quite difficult to get them to talk to each other. Uh, although they are like uh, in the same government, uh, there's a lot of like uh, silo and bureaucracy that uh, we have to uh, fight and then overcome. And it's like it's still even now it's like very difficult to get one agency to to exchange information with other agency. That, yeah, that must be very challenging uh, when it comes to adoption. Um, and then on top of that, you have the, uh, you know, the existing technology. Um, how have you guys been able to overcome some of the uh, challenges with interop with the existing technology? You're like uh, the sale talk of our team, it's all about the verifiable credential, focus on verifiable credential educate them that if you're any document on your system, if you issue in terms of 
in form of the verifiable credential, you can be in the operable with other digital uh, department, uh, uh, other government department, other department. It means you can in the op, uh, you you will have like a in the operability file. Uh, X it's not a PDF. Is a is a new generation of a file that you can interop and you can verify between each other. We we focus on 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 that thing when we when we sales and approach to the government agency. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like there was a lot of education that went into that that particular aspect. Y of yes, I think I think we talk about work about credential for almost six years since we set up this company, but. Today, uh, actually, we help them uh, help the digital economy to ministry to uh, launch the open standard about verifiable credential in in Thai language. How to how how to how to use this kind of standard? What is the use use case? What is the benefit? And then uh, a lot of people uh, excited about it and try to implement the verifiable credential here in Thailand. Not only us. It's, it's mean we we like we trigger everyone to concern about this new standard. And one thing I'm very curious about also the discussion of decentralized identifiers because I know this is a concept that can be a little bit more challenging for people to grasp who are not familiar with decentralized identity. Is that a discussion that you've also broached with people in the government layers about being able to get into maybe the uh, the details of decentralized identifiers. Uh, I see. Uh, I see a head nod there. <laughs> Do you want to elaborate a little bit more? I think that's one of the reasons why we work closely with uh, the main regulator in Thailand to issue uh, standards. Uh, once they have uh, a national standard, then it's create awareness in in the public about uh, the new technology. Mm -hmm. That's great. So you have uh, messaging going out so people can actually understand the, the technology. Yeah. Yes. That's and also another cool. one is like, uh, we also try to drive uh, the ecosystem in Thailand. And uh, in recent year, we have seen a lot of interest uh, by other organization as well. Like uh, compared to like six years ago, where we are pretty much uh, the only organization in Thailand talking about uh, this space, uh, right? In, in in the past one or two years, we have seen like multiple company popping up and uh, used similar technology. Wow, that's amazing. So it sounds like it's really taking off. Yeah, so that's fantastic. Yeah, we... Oh, go ahead. No, no, just, it's just, it's just, uh, just say yes, uh, we, we are very happy to see other people uh, trigger the things that we, we write and we share, and then everyone tries to come up with the open standard. Yeah, that's, that's what we, we, we're really happy, really glad. It's yeah. fantastic. And so that brings me to my final question, which is what is the vision for Finema? So where do you see things going and how do you see Finema changing the way we're gonna do things in the future? Okay, for from a vision, I think or here in Southeast Asia region, it's not easy to sell like the bare bone product about digital identity, about decentralized identity. I think um, all these things have to come up with the whole solution. It means you have to to take care like a uh, take care of the existing uh, system of them, build some custom system for them, and then deliver your product inside of this, the whole solution. And after you can do that, or you can influence them to do something like that. And you have like a many, many department use your product, uh, that department use your product. Uh, we can, we can like uh, influence them to make it, make something in the operable between each other department. That's the plan, that the strategy for, for, for the department in Thailand, the government in Thailand. But, but for me, my vision is not only for Thailand. We focus on the Southeast Asia region, like Myanmar, like Cambodia, like Indonesia, to like copy some use case that we implemented and success already in Thailand to approach to some local partner there and let them tell to the government department. That's that's the vision. Let, let's think about if if we are like a okay, uh, 
if we can grab some like uh, the consular department here in Thailand and consular department in Singapore, and okay, we 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 got a bilateral policy to using the digital passport on the mobile phone instead of the physical passport, and then Singaporean and Thailand can fly over with the mobile. That that's that's the vision of of our company. We try to help uh government to transform any citizen service. Because digital IDs are, uh, if we focus all, all the solution we we uh, deliver and approach, it's all about the citizen service, focus on the citizen service because we, we have the strength in digital identity, how to onboard user, how to maintain the private key authentication, verification. That's, that's why we, all the solution, we, we all the project we involve, it's all about citizen service. I like I like to add on that as well. So what uh, Mr. Vargon just mentioned is the the company vision. I can add uh, the innovation team visions at Cinema as well. So currently, uh, our team is working on uh, decentralized organization identity based on uh, VLEI ecosystem. So we are developing a prototype uh, for issuing digit legal entity identity as a verifiable credential. So that uh, legal representatives of organization can digitally prove that they really represent the organization and get the authority from uh, the legal, the person who legally by uh, the, the in that jurisdiction to give uh, the the power or the authority to to the representative to represent that organization. Wow. So this um, all the all that you you both shared. This has been very very interesting and we're, all, we're always interested in looking at what's the story of global adoption and it's clear that Finema plays a huge role in that when it comes to decentralized identity so i do want to thank both of you for joining me today for this member spotlight um, it's been really eye-opening to learn more about how Finema has been impacting uh, your region and I hope to to maintain contact and um, and hope to to also see you guys soon, possibly at the Internet Identity Workshop, if you're there soon. I will be there. You'll be there. Oh, okay, so yeah, I'll probably we'll be seeing you there. there as well. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Uh, so yeah, look, definitely look forward to further collaboration and and seeing you both around uh, the Diff community. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much, Rory.